two. Hey, listen, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the house of Doula. And I am just here right now to give you an update. Just kind of what's going on. I feel the need to give you guys an update. I'm going to try to give you guys an update at least once a week. Whether or not it's an actual video of working on the car or showing you a how to or just kind of showing you what I've been doing in my 86 here. Um, if there's nothing going on, it's kind of slow. Then at the very least, I can always just kind of hit you up and say, what's up so that's what i'm doing right now and just gonna give you guys an update but i got some awesome news ah <sighs> big news <clears throat> okay so i've been promising the on three turbo build and it's coming it's coming it is set in stone it should be on order this week yeah so we're gonna on three turbo kit really soon so Maybe things have been slow around here, but waiting on some things to pan out money wise. But otherwise, we are going to be ordering that kit this week. Uh, probably as soon as this upcoming Friday. So we'll probably get the kit in next week. I may even take a trip down to LMR and pick it up on Saturday, maybe possibly. Who knows? Um, if not, we'll be getting that stuff in. So, along with the on three build, if you guys know, it's not obviously uh, just order the kit and be done. There's a lot of pieces to it that nickel and dime you. Um, and I've got a lot to learn on this build, so we're going to go through it together, step by step. The whole thing, the installation, um, every little piece that we're going to be getting for the car. And i got to get fuel injectors, we need to get a new master flow sensor. Um, i got to get a lot of uh, heat shield equipment, uh, boots, and uh, blankets. And I'm going to go ahead and get the wide pipe and probably connect it to the existing exhaust because I'm kind of keeping that stalker look. I don't want anything too racing, too outrageous. Um, but I do want to make sure i got the boost control in check. And I want to make sure I've got some pretty top-notch components. And I'm probably going to try to take a lot of the kit from on three and uh, do some stuff to it before I put it in the car. Um, like get the uh, the hot size ceramic coated and uh, whatnot. So basically, I'm just I'm telling you, this is it. This is the big news right now. I'm going to be putting the on three kit on soon. I promised you this for two years. And my God, I'm sorry it's taking so long to get this point. But everything we've done in this car is kind of built up and led up to it. And I'm ready to do that. So I'm reaching out to uh, the North Texas Fox Body Club. Here, the local club members here. A lot of these guys are running this kit. Um, a lot of them are running aftermarket tuners, the Mega Squirt, or Micro Squirt, Mega Squirt, Micro Squirt, and um, the aftermarket tuners. So some of them are also running the stock. I'm going to try to run the stock and uh, get it tuned with a super chip that's in it now. So we'll see how that goes. If we have to switch to a uh, Micro Squirt for the Fox Body, like the plug and play, or even just a standalone unit, um, we'll wire that in. And get that going we may learn how to tune too i don't know it's going to be a a journey from here on out um one thing i don't want to do is drag on all through spring and summer so as you see right now it's freaking february and i swear to god we hit 80 degrees in texas how cool is that no pun because i know you guys are freezing up north but it's not cold here hit eight today it is literally like spring outside and it's awesome so um as far as this car let's see what about oh yeah I put a sub in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I did post some pictures of this. I'm not a big audio guy. I'm not like a big audio file. I'm not looking to thump windows out. But um, I did, whenever we did the interior, I replaced the stock speakers up front with the correct size. Little two and a half inch speakers. Two and a half, three and a half. Can't remember the small speakers. Anyways, it's a stock size speaker up front. And I went to some Rockford Fosgate's punches. It's got some punch six by nines in the back. Um, and the cars never had any kind of low end at all. And I like, I like, like a full sound. You know, I don't want to thump the windows out completely, but I want some depth. And I went out and saw this on Amazon. This is a Seren Vega uh, 10 inch, pre-powered, all-in-one, low-profile sub. Most cars will fit under the seat. Fox body it won't. Um, however, it is it is tiny, um, but it is a 10 inch sub, and it packs some punch. This is a 400 watt system. I think it's 400 watt um, RMS, not peak. Now, 200 RMS, 400, no, 550 max. Yeah, 200 RMS, 550 max. And, uh, man, it's got it's got a uh, controller. I'm going to show it to you. I don't know how much you're going to be able to pick up the sound in the interior, but I'm going to try. So, uh, yeah, let me show it to you. Okay, just kind of show the install. It's moseying on back here, the trunk. I mean, cleaning the trunk up a little bit. So there it is. Um, you can see the size of it. The best spot that I could put it was right next to the battery box. It's mounted so it won't move. Um, it's actually screwed down into the trunk on the corners here and here. I didn't want to go too far this way because I didn't know what was underneath it. But anyways, it's mounted. I've got it wired directly into the battery box. So it's got an independent fuse here. 
um, and it goes directly to the terminals in the battery box. It's got straight connection. I went way overkill on the wires here. I <laughs> went four gauge in it, and I've got everything routed, you know, up to the car, nice and neat where you can't see it. And um, anyways, this thing is absolutely so loud. I had to actually turn it down. Um, halfway in the car, so I've got everything set to how I want. It took me a little bit to get it set. Let me show you the interior. Let me close the trunk because if you don't, it doesn't help the sound out much. That big flat glass on the back of these hatches with a sub back there pointing towards the glass really reverberates. The car is pretty small as it is, so you can definitely, uh, definitely hear it. It's actually actually pretty good. So what I'm gonna do, by the way, you can hear how nice and quiet it is in here now, can't you? Um, so in case you don't know, I do have sound editing material in the whole car, um, most on the whole floorboards and in some of the trunk there. But um, this kit, the sub, comes with this guy right here. So I've got it turned halfway up. Um, what I'm gonna do is leave that. And uh, let me get some tunes on here. Hang on. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to turn off the sub. So I want to go to uh, sub level. Let's see here. Subwoofer set. And I'll turn it off. Okay, so this is what it sounded like before. Let me get something cute here. Okay, so you're going to listen to Soil. Um, anyway, it was on my phone. I don't listen to them all the time. But I do listen to Hard Rock. So that's what you guys get to hear. This is without the sub. Okay, so we've got the volume here about uh, 23. It's still talking sound, it's not too loud. Okay, now we're going to turn this on. Okay, here's the subwoofer on. Loud. You can turn it up more, even though I don't want to. It's plenty. Okay, game with it out. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm in love with it. <laughs> okay, so another reason why I got this thing was because it was only 160 bucks. I bought this on Amazon, and I'll put a link down if you guys are interested. Um, this thing fits anywhere. I'm, I like it so much, I'm going to put it in my truck back there. So um, I want to get another one. It's Why not? It's $160. The thing puts out more bass than I was expecting. Again, it's, you're not going to be thumping down the walls, but it's more than enough bass for me. It's way too much bass when it's cranked all the way up. So I keep it about mid-level with the gain about halfway on the sub. Anyways, hope you guys like that. I think it's pretty rad. Um, I'm not going to go farther through. That's it. Now we're going to work on turbo. And then what's after the turbo? Let's see. After the turbo, I think it's going to take a long time to get everything dialed in, um, especially if we put too much power to the motor. Who knows what's going to happen now? I don't want to blow the motor. I don't want to split the block in half. These blocks are about 500-ish, they say, um, can split the block, block in half. And that's on a good tune or a, a you know, tune that can go awry. Uh, so you want to obviously keep really good taps on the boost. And I might even do some uh, meth injection on the car, snow performance or something equivalent um, to keep keep detonation at a very minimum, if not completely eliminated. And we're also gonna keep the RPMs down. So that's another thing that I'm really interested in is putting an RPM eliminator or some sort of RPM control, maybe with an um, MSD, like 6AL. Uh, something simple like that where I can really control the revs on this motor because high revs 
and high horsepower is what splits them in half. It's not necessarily the horsepower of the torque, it's uh, revving to the moon and uh, you know the harmonic balance on this stuff. So I want to take out my harmonic balance or two. Anyways, we got lots to do on this motor and that's coming up. What else have I been up to? I've been just doing some work on my truck. Um, just kind of getting it the way I like it. I'm not spending much money on it, guys. I, I found a set of uh, spacers for some Bora, American made. 1.25 uh, inch spacers just because the lift I put on it sucks the wheels in. So, did some work on that. Um, buddy came over last weekend. We put in some gauges in his Mustang um, and his 90 Fox. So, we uh, put a three pillar gauge. I spent all Saturday working on his. Um, really helping out some other guys with box body stuff so that's always cool it's fun helping others um, I like seeing the results at the end just as much on their cars as I do on mine so that's pretty rad um, man what else is going oh yeah I got a shout out <laughs> I got a shout out from a, a, a YouTube channel a new kind of up and coming I guess new to YouTube guy who is trying to create his own um, Fox body channel his name is Matt and forgive me if I mispronounce your name Matt uh, De Gennaro Dig an arrow. Yeah, check it out. So, search him. Um, he's called out me and all my YouTube buddies, man. He's called out Brutal. He's called out uh, Justin. He's called out myself. And he's called out um, oh, Fox Media. Foxcast Media. And um, he's called out for a $100 challenge. Basically, you can spend no more than $100 in your Fox and just trying to see what you guys come up with. What's the best thing that all four or five of us YouTubers. I think he called out, um, let me find out. Let me find out for sure here. Yeah, Foxcast Media, Brutal, me, Justin, 50, uh, 50 Tusson, everybody knows him, you know, grassroots badass. Uh, and uh, I think that's it. So we've all been called out. The Fox Body uh, YouTube channel guys have been called out to spend $100 on a mod. So, I'm game, why not? Hey, why not? So, we'll figure out something to do here. Um, I know we got some other stuff coming with, with the turbo. That's gonna be the main key. I probably won't see, probably won't see me again until we start getting parts in. And once we start getting parts in, we start tearing apart this car to fit everything. So, the plan is just to really get the turbo in and um, pre-fit everything, probably take it all off to get it recoded. Um, so we'll put the hot side in, get the intercooler mounted, make sure everything fits. Man, I don't want to hack up my bumper. Kind of scared um, because there's it's it's going to be a tight fit, uh, especially with AC. I plan on keeping my AC. I want to make sure that this car is drivable in summertime, wintertime, anytime with 500 horsepower. That's the goal. So it's pretty easily reachable uh, with this motor and with boost. So I just want to be careful and do it safe. That's it. Oh no, I, uh, you'll see this coming out soon too. I've got some uh, another LED company who's reached out to me. And guys, I, I've got companies reach out, reach out to me. And I don't want to say all the time, but um, really, it, it's, it, I'll be honest, some of it's, it's kind of junk. JDM was not. Um, I like to do their products because all their stuff has been, has been really nice. And they did a lot of work as far as helping me out on my Mustang. So that's cool. That's the only sponsorship I've ever gotten. Uh, JDM was the only person that's reached out to me. I've said, sure on uh, but this company Bosla B O S L L A they caught my eye because they make this LED bulb that changes color temperature you can adjust the color temperature by toggling your light switch on and off so it starts out 6000k turn it off turn it back on it's uh, like 4300 yeah turn it off back on then it's 3000k which is a bright orange for fog and rain so this is all meant for like foggy rainy conditions and whatnot and then you turn it off again turn it back on and it flashes for like a warning so it's kind of cool. They call it the world's first um, four-color LED bulb. So they don't make them for the Mustang here. Well, they might. I take that back. They actually might. But we already got the JDM lights in my Mustang. I'm super happy with those. So I'm keeping that. So uh, they sent me a set, and I put in my F-150. So anyways, um, they're expensive. They're like 130 now, 140 bucks. And uh, the company is going to supposedly be giving me a 40% off code to give you guys um, and I'll pass them on to you so anyways otherwise absolutely zero sponsorship guys I do this for fun and nothing else but that's it I'm gonna wrap this up uh, you guys will see me more I'm gonna start doing more videos kinda like this um, if you guys I'm gonna do another challenge maybe with you guys with the viewers I wanna be more connected with y'all and if you guys can you know hit me up with some questions 
hit me up with a maybe tell me what you think I'd do with the car after the turbo or do you think I'm an idiot for doing the turbo and I should just leave it alone it's clean then we drive it um, or do you think I've already gone as far as I have with mods on it why not just go ahead and go with the turbo I know a lot of you guys are gonna have opinions about on three uh, so feel free to hit me up with that if you've got on three experience and you've got something that I should absolutely not forget to do whenever I install this kit let me know so please be engaged um, hit me up and um, other than that follow me on Instagram I'll be posting everything that I'm doing on Instagram before it gets out to you and that's it so we'll see you guys next time man take care